Hello, my name is Thomas Moore. Today is Thursday the 7th of April. We are going through quite possibly one of the worst living crises that we've seen in a very long time. If it's not petrol prices increasing, it's gas, heating, electricity, it's council tax, and it's food as well. One area in particular that I noticed takes a huge decline during these increases in the cost of living is an individual's nutrition. So yesterday I put out an Instagram story to determine the average weekly cost that people are spending in their supermarkets. Obviously, this would differ from person to person. We had a couple of groups of people that were students spending between 40 to 50 quid, and others spending anywhere between 80 to 120. Recently, the ONS released a figure of 63 pound 70 as an average weekly food shop cost. That's what we're gonna work with. I'm gonna give you a full week, so seven days worth of food examples, breakfast, lunches, and dinners for 60 quid. So I'm gonna head down to Tesco's now. Obviously you can use other supermarkets and this isn't just gonna be a single episode. We will go to the likes of Audi and Lidl, but for the time being, as I use Tesco all the time, I'm gonna go down there. So stay tuned and enjoy. All right folks, our target was 60 quid that we said at the beginning. All of this, 39 pound 86. Big up the Tesco club card. If we want to shave off some more money, places like Lidl, Audi, even down in the fruit and veg store, for example, to get a lot of this stuff will probably be a little bit cheaper. But we've got a variety of different carbohydrates. You've got wraps, you've got noodles, we've got muffins, sourdough, pasta, protein, we've got chicken, chorizo, bacon, we've got some eggs, we've got some garlic, we've got some parsley, we've got some beetroot, plenty of uh, veg, we've got some cheese, so fats, we've got Greek yogurt, we've got roasted cashews, we've got some parmesan, and uh, yeah. So now it's time to use all of this and give you guys and girls some breakfast, lunch, and dinner examples. Let's go. Okay, so here are our first two breakfast examples. We've got a bacon and egg muffin using some really nice healthy fats. We're sitting on a bed of spinach, avocado, bacon medallions from Tesco, and we've poached an egg there as well. Using eggs again for the second meal, this time egg white omelette, very generic, basic breakfast that a lot of bodybuilders have. We zhuzhed it up a little bit, chopped up some bacon. We've got some beetroot, some feta cheese, and some roasted walnuts in a kind of salad. It's sitting on a mixed leaf salad, really nice. Gives a, a nice different edge to an egg white omelette, served that with some sourdough as well. So really simple, very basic, only four or five ingredient meals for these breakfasts. What I'll do now is take you through step by step some of the lunches and the dinners as well. Lunch example number one, we're having a chicken stir fry, therefore you will need some chicken, some tender stem broccoli, high protein egg noodles, roasted and salted cashew nuts, and some Chinese five spice. So cut your chicken into strips like you'd see in a beef teriyaki, for example, and season with your Chinese five spice. Throw them into a wok. Whilst your chicken is cooking, trim off the tender stem bits and crush your cashews. Around about the eight minute mark, looking at about a 10 minute cooking time for the chicken, at the eight minute mark, throw in your tender stem and your noodles, give it a toss, serve, and then sprinkle your cashews on top. For lunch example number two, we're having what I lived on when I was in Zantli. No, not laughing gas or a fishbowl. It's a chicken wrap. You'll need some chicken, tortilla, tzatziki, red onion, mixed leaf salad, feta, and also some tomato. So this time we're seasoning our chicken with some oregano and also some paprika. We want to turn the chicken quite frequently here. Get the juices flowing. Don't want it to, to burn too easily. When we're chopping our onion, we want to go crosswise. Little trick, free finger, middle finger in front. Gordon Ramsay style, we don't want to chop our fingers off. Once your chicken is cooking, start to plate. So get your tortilla, layer your mixed leaf, then your tomatoes, then your tzatziki. On goes the chicken, crumble up a little bit of your red onions as well as your feta, and then serve. Really nice, simple, quick and easy lunch. Chicken wrap. Apologies for the change in clothing, it is a different day. Now is some dinner examples. Today we are making a creamy chicken, a creamy garlic chicken pasta. What you will require is some chicken, some spinach, some penne pasta or whatever pasta you would like to choose, a little bit of parmesan, a lot of, a lot of sake comments yesterday on Instagram, oh it looks really nice but a bit of macros are shit. Well, the combination of low fat cheese and pasta water creates a consistency that we require. Some tomatoes, garlic, I tend to use about four cloves for this. In terms of seasonings, we've got garlic, Italian seasoning, and also a little bit of paprika. First, let's season our chicken. I'll cut the chicken into like little mini fillets, and then we'll season them. A little bit of salt, a little bit of Italian seasoning, 
Paprika, just a small bit of paprika, not too much. Put your chicken on fairly low heat. What we'll do is we'll put chicken in, chop, then pasta. Chopped tomatoes in our, I've got about five tomatoes here, a handful of tomatoes. We want a, a, a nice sort of cube effect with the tomatoes. I get my knives from Pro Cook. I really like, I really like Pro Cook. There's one in blue water. If you're struggling to find one. Once your tomatoes are chopped, get your four cloves of garlic into a bowl with the tomatoes. Once you've done that, let's cook our pasta. I'm having about 100 grams here, guys. Just 100 grams, obviously, based on your goal. You could increase or decrease. I've got our beef on. I've got our beef in about eight weeks' time, so I'm trying to get nice and shreds. For that. Now what we want to do is just let the chicken sit for a little bit, let the pan cool down for a couple of minutes and then we'll make our cream. Fucking cream! Fairly lowish heat here guys, chuck your garlic and tomatoes in, handful of spinach and then I use around about 150 grams of the cheese and then what we can do to make it more of a kind of liquidy texture is use some of the pasta water. When I say use the pasta water, I mean a spoon like that. Get involved. Sprinkle a little Parmesan, I've got about 10 grams here. More than enough. All tracked. Slice your chicken into thin strips. Now if you want your Instagram pick, I do your Instagram pick with it in the pan, as opposed to in the bowl. And there is dinner number one. Creamy garlic chicken. Mm. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. It's easy, isn't it, guys? Come on, we can we can all do this together. Do it for the family. Big bowl of pasta. Mmm. I like that. Join me in a second for dinner idea number two. I just woken up from a nap and I don't know where I am. So this is a great time to cook this chicken and treat our pasta bake. Pasta bakes are fantastic. Very simple, very effective, require very little prep time and you just bung it in the oven and then you do your thing. You can do it for the week, you do it for a couple of days. Today we're going to do chicken tritho, so you'll need some chicken, <clears throat> seasonings, oregano, chili flakes, paprika, some soft cheese again. What you'll notice here is we're utilising the same ingredients across breakfast, lunches and dinners. Synergy. Some tritho, parmesan, cherry tomatoes, canned tomatoes and pasta, ideally rigatoni. Rigatoni like, works best with pasta bake, but they didn't have any until the 12th, which is tomorrow, I think. So we're just gonna have to stick with this stuff. Okay, let's go. Firstly, set your oven to 200 degrees or C. Once you've done that, slice your chorizo up. This is just for one, all right? So I'm using about 40 grams of chorizo, run about 180 grams of chicken. Slice your chicken up into like, irregular shapes, any shape that you want. It's completely up to you. So next up, all we're doing is frying off the chorizo and the chicken for about five minutes, all right? Same goes for the pasta. We don't want to cook the pasta too much. We don't want it to be too mushy. While that is cooking, just chop your tomatoes in half this time. Once the tomatoes are chopped, add to a bowl with a teaspoon of oregano. We want about half a teaspoon of chili flakes and we want half a teaspoon of paprika and then around about 10 grams grated parmesan once the five minutes is up take this down to a really low fry take the pasta off the heat add your tin of tomatoes along with your bowl that you've made and also you then want to add 50 grams of the soft cheese. That looks beautiful. Add in your pasta, give it another stir, let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then if you've got a oven proof pan that you've cooked in, happy days. If not, put it into a ceramic dish. I've got absolutely nothing in the gaff apart from like a Pyrex glass oven proof thing. So we'll have to use that. I've also missed that one vital ingredient. Mozzarella. Then once you've done that, bang it in the oven for 40 minutes. During that 40 minutes, go in the bath. Pamper yourself. Pamper night, mate. Bless you. 
Put the mozzarella, man. I will. Okay, once she's cooked, a bit of fresh basil and let it sit for a bit, a couple of minutes. Right then, Tommy Gun. Let's have a bang on this, son. A little spice with the tree for the sweets from the cherry tomatoes. Tutta bene. Tutta bene. Folks, I really hope you've taken something away from this video. You know, we sat down here. We're, like, we're all up against it at the moment. Regardless of where we're at, we're, it's, we're, a lot of us are struggling. And uh, I hope you've taken a few ideas. Fresh, healthy, nutritious meals that could be consumed with not a lot of money. Like we sat here at the start of the video, didn't we? All the ingredients was, was laid out in front of us. A couple of different breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas. The end goal for me, like the, the project for me is a cookbook, a physical, high production, high end, hard copy cookbook. That is like my, that's like my dream. I've got a good little team. We've got a nice little team, photographer, graphic designer, and uh, that's the vision. But I want to kind of add a different educational spin on it, not just any old cookbook. I want to kind of go through the importance of macronutrients and macro tracking and utilizing things like my fitness pal. And of course, examples of breakfast, lunches, and dinners. That's like the that's our next little little project. So uh, yeah, excited. I feel like I've got a new lease of life. I'm home. I've got my people back around me. I'm like I'm back. So let's get it. Appreciate your support as always for all these videos. You know, it's uh, taking a bit of a shift and a bit of a turn from like the old school team cycles bodybuilding. So it's always quite new territory. It's a little bit daunting sometimes because you do get the kind of diehards that don't necessarily agree with certain things that drop off. But I uh, appreciate your support as always. And uh, keep on, man. I know it's fucking shit times at the moment, but they can they can throw what they like at us, but they'll, they'll never take our hearts, man. Let's, right, I'm gonna finish this. Any questions at all about any of the, the recipes, do drop me a message. There's a reason why I didn't put the macros for a lot of these meals is because I want you to use the education and the videos the two videos before this, the macro tracking and the protein and calories. Everyone has different protein requirements, macro requirements. So, you know, we've got some people that maybe in their off season want more tree throw. Some people in the, you know, the, the back end of a dieting phase that want to swap the tree throw out for bacon medallions and scan the foods in. So, use those two videos. They'll be linked up here to get an understanding of kind of scanning the foods in, macros, etc. And any issues at all, drop me a message. And if you have a, if you have a bang up doing these recipes, take a little picture on Instagram, tag me in it, greatly appreciated. I love you all, I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night, much love.